Hey guys, what's up? Chris here with Palmer Aquatics. I'm in the fish room here, uh, AKA my office. And today we're gonna be talking about the electric blue car. I've been really dying to do this video because the electric blue car is my new favorite fish for a handful of reasons. Number one, they're super magnificent in color. They just like explode in coloration. Uh, they're super sturdy, they're easy to breed. And I think uh, a couple months ago, I did a breeding video on these Acaras and it is one of the best fish to breed for profit per se. So uh, guys, I'm just hanging out here. I do have my magnificent electric blue Acara. I have one left. I sold off the other ones for, someone offered me a lot of money for these beautiful, beautiful fish and I'm really regretting it, but I still have one left. So I'm gonna flip the cam. I'm gonna quit blabbing. Well, actually I'm gonna blab. I'm gonna tell you why electric blue Acaras are awesome and help you learn how to take care of them effectively. All right guys, before we start, I wanna hold a friendly little competition. I dare you guys, can you find a better looking electric blue Acara than mine right here? Okay, so yeah, he does have a small bite mark in the back of him, but other than that, this fish is absolutely magnificent. And I'm still pissed off because I had six of these, but someone offered me a pretty good amount of money and I sold them. That is kind of the name of the game here. I am trying to make some money all right, let's get to the important info. The electric blue Acara is a South American cichlid, and that means you need to be keeping it with South American cichlids or similar mannered fish. This is what everyone screws up. They put the wrong fish with these electric blue Acaras and bad things happen. South American cichlids need similar mannered fish, you know, similar personalities or else things just don't go right. Some of the more common tank mates that you can keep them with, you can see in this tank right now. Blood parrots, green terror cichlids, geophagus, other acaras. You really have to be careful because cichlids have a tendency to try and breed. And when that happens, the aggression levels like uh, tenfold times ten. All right, let's go back to the basics. Tank size. What size aquarium is the best for an electric blue Acara? I would say a 40 gallon breeder at minimum, maybe a 55. I would really love to see a 75. And these are South American cichlids, like I said, so they prefer a slower moving water. You know, you don't have to go crazy with this ginormous canister filter. Just get a regular hang on the back or use sponge filtration. This is my buddy Chris's tank, and this is an ideal setup. The only thing I would maybe change is go with a darker substrate because these electric blue Acaras, and like Jack Dempsey's, these blue colored fish really explode in coloration when you go with a darker colored gravel. But you can go with light too because it, I mean, they both have their cool features. You can see that he has a sponge filter in the tank and also a hang on the back filter. That's ideal. That way if the hang on the back filter fails, he can still have the sponge filter running. It's also a super good idea to have that sponge filter, aka the air pump, running on a battery powered backup. That way if the power goes out, that battery backup can run that little air pump for a pretty long time because air pumps don't use a lot of electricity consumption. So. Guys, this is an ideal setup. So we have a 50 gallon aquarium. We have mild filtration that's not overly powerful. We have the correct tank mates. As you can see, his, his finage on his fish are a little beat up. And that can sometimes mean that you don't have the right tank mates. But, you know, cichlids do fight and it's nonstop. Holy crap, look at there, guys. This is little Avery. This is two years ago. I can't believe she's two and a half years old now. Um, guys, this brings me back to the days where my videos were terrible. Haha. <laughs> I guess my heart was in the right place though, right guys? Um, so the electric blue Acaras, guys. This is my favorite fish right now because if someone walked up to me and asked me, hey Chris, what is your favorite fish or what fish should I go and get? I tell people the electric blue Acara is where it's at, man, because they have the bright, vivid uh, electric blue coloration. They don't get too large. You know, the electric blues probably get like six inches long, which you can still adequately keep in a pretty small tank, like a 50 gallon tank, you know? Some of these cichlids are super cool, like jaguar cichlids, but they get 13 inches long, and you need a six-foot tank, which kind of sucks. But the electric blues, they don't get that large. And third, uh, their, their mentality, like their personality, isn't overly aggressive, and you can keep them with a lot of other super cool South Americans, like Severums, Geos. There's just... 
Um, you know, I have so much fun with these fish. They have so much personality. And that leads me to my next segue here. I did a video a year ago on breeding electric blue cars for profit. I truly believe these fish to be one of the best and top sellers right now. And I believe that if you got on top of breeding these fish, the fish stores are going to buy them from you. A lot of us fool ourselves by breeding certain fish and we think we're going to get rich by selling them like Oscar fish or green tares. But these electric blues are actually one fish that are super in demand right now. And people absolutely adore buying them. And that means fish stores are going to buy them from you. And... Uh, the next thing is these things are super easy to breed because they do everything on their own. They are super, super good parents and they usually completely raise the babies by themselves. I will give a forewarning that when you keep any kind of cichlid, it's not all rainbows and sunshine because cichlids are always trying to breed. And with breeding, there comes aggression. You can see these guys right here. They are fighting. And, you know, if you have two males fighting over a female, they'll probably fight to the death. And sometimes uh, they'll try to fight off other tank mates because they're afraid of them killing their babies. And you just have to be careful. I always tell people to do a head count on a daily basis. You know, check to make sure that every fish is accounted for, you know, because that is a big deal. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel and please let me know in the comments section. What are you up to? What's your scenario? Are you planning on buying some electric blue acaras? Are you planning to breed them? Are you going to get some from a friend? Are you going to go with the regular acara? Uh, do you like the electric blues? Uh, please let me know. Comments. Woo